Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you how to increase FPS in Fortnite Season 3. I'm going to be guiding you on how you can fix FPS drops and any stutters that you might be experiencing in Fortnite Season 3 after the new update. We are going to be optimizing the Fortnite itself as well as the windows so that you can get the maximum amount of performance out of your computer. I have added a few new tweaks into the pack and we are going to be optimizing some of the window settings as well. If this video does help you then make sure to leave a like down below as it will help with the YouTube algorithm and without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the very first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the chapter 3 season 3 optimization pack you can download it from the link in the description which will take you to my website and then you can just go ahead and look for the post that has the same thumbnail and the title as this video that you're watching it should be up at the top by the release date of this video however you can go ahead and find it there so once you find it just go ahead and open it up and download the pack from there by clicking on the red download button and it should take you to mediafire then click the download there and the pack should be downloaded once the pack is downloaded all you need to do is right click and extract it using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want and once it is extracted just go ahead and open it up we're gonna be starting off with the one clicker and you can go ahead and read this for its functions and credits this was originally made by the asn 2k and i have modified some of the settings and tweaks inside of it so what you need to do is right click and go ahead and run it as administrator press any key to continue and then just go ahead and uh, read all of this don't worry about anything it's going to make a restore point by itself so you don't really need to worry press any key to continue and what it's gonna do is attempt to create a restore point and afterwards it's going to be applying all of the tweaks that are listed inside of here those being the turning off windows game dvr settings we are going to be applying registry files to turn it off permanently as well but it's going to do that too then the tweak network throttling to improve ping disable xbox services tweak system game responsiveness tweak gpu priority enable hidden ultimate performance mode which is basically the power plan disable windows update delivery optimizations disable hibernation and optimize the visual effects and performance once it is done it should say the press any key to continue and then go ahead and apply the rest of the tweaks so just go ahead and keep pressing any key uh, until the full process is complete just like so as you can see on screen once it is all done it should close out now would be a great time to go ahead and restart your pc but since i'm recording i'm gonna go ahead and skip that step however i would still recommend you go ahead and restart your pc all right so once you are done with the uh, one clicker and i am assuming that you have restarted your pc or even if you just skipped it we're gonna go ahead and apply the cache cleaner dot bat so right click on it run it as administrator and what this is going to do is delete all of the temporary files the log files windows update files and a bunch of unnecessary cache files that are building up on your pc lowering its performance and hence decreasing the fps or causing lags inside of the games so after applying this you should now have free space as well as a lot better performance so once it completes it should automatically close down so once we are done with that we're gonna be moving on to the optimizer 4.7.exe so right click on it run it as administrator and it should open up the program once the program opens up inside of the universal just go ahead and enable the performance tweaks disable network throttling disable windows defender disable print service if you don't use that disable media player sharing disable 2016 office telemetry telemetry tasks should be disabled as well then moving on to the disable home group if you don't use that obviously disable error reporting disable skype ads compatibility assistant maybe keep it on but i would just skip it disable fax and disable smart screen so this is what you should have copied now i know a lot of people disable super fetch as well but uh, for some people on low-end pcs it might actually cause some issues therefore i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is and then what you need to do is apply and restart uh, well i'm not gonna be doing that because i am recording this video but assuming that you have copied all of my settings you should be good to go then moving on to the windows 10 these are basically the personalization tweaks so disable cloud clipboard feature updates insider services game bar xbox live spelling and typing inking sensor devices cortana silent app install disable privacy options telemetry services exclude drivers from updates disable automatic updates disable my people uninstall one drive enable dark theme which i already have on uh, start menu ads quick access then enable taskbar color well maybe just leave it off uh, for the purposes of this however well i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and toggle it off uh, enable legacy volume slider it's really up to you personalization really doesn't matter that 
that much then go ahead and just apply and restart or maybe go ahead and wait for all of these and then just go ahead and apply and restart at the very end up next are the uwp apps you can go ahead and uninstall them from here but i won't recommend that i would recommend you go into the start menu search for apps and then go ahead and add a remove programs and uninstall any of the apps from here then moving on to the cleaner just go ahead and select all and clean then moving on to startup once again just go ahead and remove any of the stuff that you don't want to start up with your windows so for example for me that would be the cloudflare warp i'm gonna go ahead and remove it then moving on to registry i highly recommend you do not change anything here just don't mess with anything and yeah that's all go ahead apply and restart and that should be good to go all right now assuming that uh, you have applied all of the tweaks and restarted your pc we can move on to the registry optimizations now once you open this up uh, some of these registry files were made by pangino so yeah credits to him and we are going to be applying these one by one starting with the cpu speed so just go ahead and double click on it hit yes hit ok it's going to optimize the cpu cores and the ram so yeah then go ahead and disable dvr1 hit yes hit ok dvr2 yes ok full screen fix basically setting the games to exclusive full screen and disabling full screen optimizations hit yes hit ok but there is a little step that you need to do along with this one to make it work perfectly and to do that just go ahead and open up the file explorer go into the drive where you have installed fortnite so for me it's c program files uh, fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll down until you can find these four applications we're gonna be right clicking on the first one that should have the highest file size as well right click go into properties compatibility disable full screen optimizations change high dps settings and just make sure that the override high dps scaling behavior is checked and it is set to application hit ok hit ok once again and now you can close out of this then moving on to the game optimizations hit yes hit ok and then there are the low to medium optimizations or medium to high end just go ahead and select the one according to your computer i'm gonna go ahead and apply the low to mid hit yes hit ok and that should be good you can also go ahead and revert any of these edges tweaks inside of here once you are done with everything you can go ahead and now delete the pack or keep it whatever you want and that's all for the pack up next what we're gonna be doing is scanning our pc for any issues that it might have and potentially fixing those issues in order to do that open up your start menu and search for cmd go ahead and run it as administrator and once this opens up what you need to do is type in the sfc space slash scan now once you have typed in the command just simply go ahead and press enter and let the pc do its work it's going to go ahead and scan the pc for any issues that it might be experiencing and it's going to go ahead and try to fix those issues now this will take a lot of time so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the end well i just had to skip that because it takes a lot of time and time is what i don't have right now however all you need to do is be patient and let it run let it do its work now moving on to the next step and it's basically a tip and that is to completely delete fortnite and reinstall it now i know the file size has increased a lot uh, over the updates however this is one of the best ways if you want to go ahead and improve your performance and fps in fortnite without applying many of the tweaks because with every new update a lot of cache files and the older cache files get replaced which can cause the game to perform poorly because of the old cache files sitting there doing nothing and some of the older files that don't get updated as well so what you need to do is go ahead and uninstall fortnite completely re-download it and run it through personal experience i have found that it does give a minimal fps boost and the advantage overall so yeah make sure to go ahead and try that if you want and that should be basically it for this video now i know that after applying all of these optimizations and tweaks you should be able to see a noticeable difference in the fps that you are getting in fortnite and if you do then make sure to let me know down below in the comments and if you want to boost fps in fortnite even further then go ahead and check out this video that i posted some time ago which goes over a lot of other tweaks and optimizations that you can apply right now in season 3. So yeah, with that I guess I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.